Welcome to Morning Man with Pastor Steve Myrie. This morning's topic, take off the mask. Then the angel of the Lord came and sat beneath the great tree at Ophrah, which belonged to Joash of the clan of Abiezer. Gideon, son of Joash, was threshing wheat at the bottom of the winepress to hide the grain from the Midianites. The angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, Mighty hero, the Lord is with you. Judges 6, 11 through 12. Identity in psychology is defined as the qualities, beliefs, personality, looks and are expressions that makes a person. To the child of God, there are two questions that we have to ask ourselves. Who am I? Who did God create me to be? There are only two purposes for wearing a mask. One, to change your identity. At church, you look like a Christian. Around non-Christians, you blend in just fine. And so you wear a mask to fit in. Like a chameleon, you secure your mask in place because you want to blend in your surroundings. Second reason, to hide your identity. You don't want people to see the real you, so you put on a mask as a way of hiding who you really are. We all wear a mask at some point in our lives. And if you should indulge me just for a bit to go into pop culture, then we will observe superheroes, for instance, who wear masks and suits in order to personify their alter ego. So Batman and the Flash, for instance, they wear a mask to hide their identity because they do not want their identity to be revealed. And so they wear this mask and a suit. But then when we look at Superman, for instance, then we see something different. Clark Kent, who goes about working at the Daily Planet as a reporter, but then as soon as he strips himself, the amazing thing about Superman compared to Batman is Clark Kent is really the mask for Superman. When he puts that blue and red on, he's not pretending to be something else. This is who he really is on the inside. So many of us wear masks because we're trying to hide who we are because at times society dictates to us as to who we should be and we try to conform to society and we, we wear makeups and we do our hairs and we try our best to blend in at work. We don't want to be the one with the nappy hair and we don't want to be the one who's described as being dark skinned and so we try to lighten our skin, trying to do everything to fit in to the mold of society, not realizing that in trying to conform to this system, we are actually hating who we are and who God made us to be. Gideon is a perfect example. The scripture made sure to tell you that he was actually a coward because he was hiding from the Midianites. But then something a bit ironic took place because the angel appeared and the angel did not look at Gideon and say to him, Gideon, you're a coward. On the contrary, the angel referred to him as a mighty man of valor, a hero. Now when Gideon looked in the mirror, he did not see a hero because he was wearing a mask. But we have to get to the place where we're not under mental slavery about somebody else's opinion or view of you, but you see yourself through God's eyes. I too have had the experience of trying to fit in, trying to blend in, trying to do what it took for people to like me, to get the approval of others, until I realize I can never be happy until I take the mask off. And when the mask comes off, you've got to love what is in the mirror. If you're short, you've got to love that short individual. If you're fat, you've got to love that fat individual. If you're black, you've got to love that black skin. And if you're light skin, you've got to love who God made you to be. The quote of the day, see yourself through God's eyes. As you go today, go knowing that you're fearfully and wonderfully made. And oh, before I go, condolences to the family of George Floyd, along with every other life, black lives do matter. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Waymaker, miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness.